So the first example is about uh, finding the diameter or the cross-sectional area of the column. So let's see what we have and what is missing. So we are planning we are planning to reduce the 2% carbon dioxide in 23 pounds per cent of natural gas stream. So we are going to reduce by 2%. Okay. We are going to reduce by 2% the amount of CO2. We have CO2 in natural gas that has the mass flow rate 23 pounds per second. This is my gas mass flow rate, which is 23 pounds per second. All right. Then using absorption column in aqueous demethyl ether flowing out 40 pound per second so we have we have a column so this is my gas phase and this is my liquid phase and for gas phase i have 23 pound per second for liquid phase i have 40 pound per second okay 23 for gas for liquid 40. We want to use 1.5 inch rushing rings. This is the packing that we use this type of packing to find the packing factor. You want to design for a pressure drop 0.25 inch per foot. So pressure drop is given 0.25 inch of water per foot of packing okay inch of water per foot of packing and foaming is minimized so in this condition you won't have any foaming under the operating condition the density of the gas and liquids are density of gas is given to you 2.8 density of liquid is given to you 6.63 okay density of gas rho g density of liquid rho l all per pound pound foot per cubic meter the viscosity is also given this is the viscosity so what's the cross-sectional area or diameter to be used what is cross-sectional area? So in this question, we are going to use uh, we are going to use the Sherwood curve for Sherwood. For, so we have the pressure drop that we want. We have all the densities, the density, and the mass flow rate. So we can find the x-axis. We have the pressure drop, and we can find epsilon. Once we have epsilon. We can put in in that equation and find G prime. Okay, G prime. This is now like for for kind of uh, this is the G prime for the floating condition. We consider for floating condition for now. I mean, the, this this is the minimum in floating condition. We will have the minimum uh, diameter that is needed. Okay. So, what we have now, we have to go to the Sherwood curve. So, for Sherwood curve, this curve here, first of all, we need to find, for Sherwood curve, we need to find this term, L over G times rho G over L. We have the pressure drop, then we can find this term, okay? We can find this term that that from this term we will find g prime so how we find this term we have to first find this term that we have to okay go here in this equation so l over g times rho over g power one uh, or i mean square root so l 
Mass flow rate of liquid is 40, mass flow rate of gas is 23, the gas density 2.8, liquid density liquid uh, 6.3. So, if you calculate this term, uh, I haven't calculated, but just let me calculate it uh, rapidly here. So it's going to be 40 divided by 23 uh, times S square root of 2.8 divided by 63. If you do this calculation, you should get 0 0.37 here. Okay, so then uh, we have pressure drop which is 0 0.25 then we go to the curve which curve this curve here so uh, my this parameter that we also we call also this parameter the flow parameter flow parameter which is 0 0.36 7 something like that which is almost 0 0.4 right we consider it 0 0.4 so we have the pressure drop which is 0 0.25 so we, we will use this curve so we go all the way up until this curve we remark this point then we go horizontally to see where it cut the y y y axis so we will have this this is my point which is between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 so it will be almost 0 0.15 something like that so this all this term here is equal to 0 0.15 so now i go back here i have my parameter here which is 0 0.15 now I need to calculate G prime. I have rho G, the gas density, liquid density, GC, which is the acceleration is given. I have also the viscosity. I need to find the packing parameter. Okay, I need to find the packing parameter. And also I need to find this term, which is the specific gravity of a specific gravity of the liquid phase divided by a specific gravity of uh, of water or just let me go check to, to see what was that term again uh, okay here yeah so this move here is mm -hmm. Uh, yes, ratio of a specific gravity of scrubbing liquid to the to that of water. Okay, so either a specific gravity or it can be also the density. All right. So for now, uh, what we can do, we can uh, we can use the so here we have. So this parameter we have the the we have we already have the density of our liquid which is 63 and the density of water which is 62.4 is not given in, in this question but by default in uh, GS uh, in in English system the density of water is 62.4 um, pound per cubic foot right so this is the ratio of the densities that we have and also uh, rho g the densities are given uh, gravitational acceleration in english system is 32.2 um, viscosity was given to g prime is missing and packing factor for packing factor we have 1.5 inch rushing rushing ring 1.5 rushing ring or 1 uh, 1 over 2 so we have a table for that this is the table that will be given to you we have rushing ring this is my rushing ring here and is uh, is ceramic actually the size is 1.5 so the packing factor will be 90 
3. So I have my packing factor 93. So I plug all the information here and then I can find my G prime. So you have all the information, you will find G prime, which should be 0 0.9 pound per S car foot second. So now you have G prime. G prime and also you have G which is 23 this is your G G over G prime that gives you A okay so A the cross sectional area is G mass flow rate divided by mass flux or max flow rate per per, uh, per cross sectional area so for G you have 23 for G prime you have 0 0.9 if you divide them you will get your A, 26 square, uh, square foot. So, or then you can use A, you can use this equation. A is pi over 4 D2. So you have A, pi is 3.14. From this equation, you have A here. You can find D. That gives you 5.7. That will be the diameter of your cut. 5.7 foot. All right. Um, that was about this question. Please review it. And I'm gonna. If you have any question, we can, as I said, always discuss about it.